Thanks to Incogni for sponsoring today's video. Hello, Maths fans. I am here in Heidelberg at the Laureate Forum. This is the 11th Heidelberg Laureate Forum and the fifth time I have been to Heidelberg. It's my immense pleasure to be joined by Moira Chas, who is both a mathematician and an artist, which is a very exciting combination, a mathematical artist, if you will. And all of these brilliant contraptions in front of us are created by yourself. Yeah, this to him. <laughs> now this one, which is awesome, I'm gonna hold this up nice and closely to the camera so you can all see this. This I definitely recognize as a Klein bottle. It is, indeed. And then this feels like it might be something to do with a Klein bottle, which I'm sure you're gonna tell me more about. This one, I, there's, there is something Klein bottle-esque happening. I want to say it's a double Klein bottle. Um, and then those two, they look awesome, but I have no clue. So, so I, yeah, please, please enlighten me. What is, what are all of these brilliant shapes? Okay, so let's start. You know, in math, you know, we always care about exactly what do we mean by a word. So when okay. we say Klein bottle, a lot of people, most people associate with a shape like this. But I'm going to tell you what a mathematician means when he says a Klein bottle. And mm -hmm. what we mean is, we start with a rectangle like this one here, and we have the, the opposite edges, they have arrows, I don't know if you can see here are there two arrows and they point in the same direction. Here there are two arrows and they point in opposite directions. Yes. And our mathematical mind, what it has to do is glue this, the blue with the blue and the yellow with the yellow, respecting the direction of the arrows. Yeah. So I can glue the, the physically almost, <laughs> I can do the blue one, and I get a cylinder. Yep. Now, if I fold this, and if you could see here, well, these two arrows are not going to point in the same direction if I have to glue it in the in a natural yep. way. Yes. So, we cannot glue it physically. Mm -hmm. Our math mind can do it, though. We just imagine this, the space, the Klein bottle is the space I get when I glue, means identify these, these two, now there are circles. Yep. But we cannot actually glue it, but the second best thing is, well, do something to visualize the shape. So what we do is, we're going to grab this piece, and now our mathematical mind, imagine that I can put this, uh, this circle across with the whole thing. Yep. And now if you see from here, the two arrows are going to be pointing in the same direction. Yes. So I can glue them easily. Mm -hmm. This is what Klein, Felix Klein, which was one here in Germany, yeah. where we are, and he said, an idea of this might be formed by doing this procedure. Not that it is a Klein bottle, that we can start understanding. So, mm -hmm. the Klein bottle is a space that lives in our mathematical mind. Again, just imagine this, and you may say, well, it's really hard to imagine this. Well, it's not that hard. You know, one thing you can think, have you ever played uh, Pac-Man? I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. So, you know, in the Pac-Man, the creature lives from here and comes out here. Yes. Yep. Well, now imagine that every time it comes out here, it comes out flipped and in this side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the space where the Pac-Man creature lives is indeed a Klein model. Mm -hmm. yep. So, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that explains, I think, what's happening. This is the threading through right. that you mentioned there. But then, this being the typical image, what do, like, like, is this a double Klein bottle or am I, am I just talking nonsense? Because <laughs> it looks very Klein bottle-esque. Okay. <laughs> it is a Klein bottle, it is a Klein bottle. Okay, but not a double. Now we're just gonna pause the conversation and spin the camera around because something crazy happened just a few hours after filming this video with Moira. As someone creating online content, I'm used to receiving emails asking about sponsorship. And in fact, today's sponsor, Incogni, is a great example of a company that wants to support creators and their audiences. But of course, there are also a lot of fake sponsors or scam emails. They're not particularly hard to spot. Poorly written, from an email address that has nothing to do with the actual sponsor, even misspelling the company name. But usually, they refer to a pretty random selection of products. Not this time. I'm of course talking to Moira about Klein bottles, and within a few hours of recording this video, 
I receive an email asking me to promote Klein bottles from a very clear fake sponsor. Now on the one hand, I'll admit I'm low-key impressed with this level of personalization, but it's also quite worrying that these fake companies, these scammers, have access to so much of my personal data. And this is where today's sponsor, Incogni, can really help. Sign up was really easy. I just entered my name, email address, and home address, and then Incogni automatically looks for my data online and asks for it to be removed. They immediately sent out 44 data removal requests, and within 24 hours, 13 of them have already removed any information that they have on me. Now, of course, you can send the removal requests yourself, but the real benefit of Incogni is that everything is automated. So once you sign up, all of the requests will immediately be sent to all of the data brokers that currently hold your data. And as long as you remain subscribed to the platform, then Incogni will continue to send those requests. So often your data will be removed initially, and then a few months later, it might reappear due to some new hack or some new leak. But as long as you are subscribed to Incogni, the platform will know this, it will inform you, and it will again send those removal requests. So it really does make it as easy as possible to ensure privacy of your online data. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, then please do check out the link in the video description that will give you 60% off an annual subscription with Incogni, or you can head directly to www.incogni.com forward slash Tom Rocks Maths. This whole experience has certainly taught me a lot about keeping my data secure online, and Incogni is a great place to start. Now, back to Klein bottles. Is this a double Klein bottle, or am I, am I just talking nonsense? Because <laughs> it looks very Klein bottle-esque. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Klein bottle, it is a Klein bottle. Okay, but not a double. Just a single... What do you mean by double? You see, so what do we mean by? Mathematicians, okay. we always ask what do you yeah, mean by? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it feels like there is a Klein bottle within a Klein right. bottle. Right, so we can show you now. So if you see here, there's a little thing, and inside there is a Klein bottle. But in fact, and to explain this, I made this one. So if you look at this shape here, this wants to be a Klein bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but except that I have to grab this piece, the circle here, stretch the whole cylinder, and glue it like this. Yes. If I do that, I get the usual Klein bottle. Yeah. And I was making and making Klein bottles just because I'm fascinated by them. And then I said, well, what if? You know, in math, we do a lot of the what if. And then mm -hmm. you tweak something and something else sometimes happens. So what if, if I, could you hold it? Yeah, of course. Instead of gluing it the way I said, I just glue it by stretching this and gluing it here and close it. But I did glue it. I got it now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the black. And that's the black. <coughs> external yeah. of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. the external. And for so me it is just a single, just a this simple climb bottle. This is a climb bottle. bottle. It, was, it was quite a surprise. I surprised yeah. mathematicians because we expect that, that, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Okay, so we've done, I'm happy this is a climb bottle. And this is a climb bottle, so happy. we can, okay, we, well, can <laughs> we are them. grouping them. This is yeah. a Venn diagram of climb yeah. bottles. And yeah. here, here, this is, after the gluing is a climb bottle. Okay, but wouldn't be until it was glued. No. Okay, I see. Okay, good. I'm following. So I've never studied topology, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I'm learning I'm so much. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Okay, now this just leaves this circular contraption. Yeah. So this one here. Again, I said you know a climb ball can be you know if you can think of this you know unusual Pac-Man. Yep. But if you want to make it into a physical world, well, one way is this. And by the way, in math, we know that if we want to put it in three-dimensional reality, it has to cross itself, which is, you know, has to pay the price to just visualize it. Yes. So another way, you know, I, I could make it in the way I described before, or I could make it in this way. Again, I have to do the thing of gluing the pair of edges, mm -hmm. this same direction, this opposite direction. So what I do is I'm going to fold this, I'm going to glue the blue ones across the middle. So yep. here is one, this is the other way. And the arrows are lining up, yeah. And the arrows okay. are lining up and this yes. is glue. And now this is a figure eight and, you know, yep. repeat it across an interval. Yes. So now if I fold it this way, well, I cut the figure eight, but now they are pointing in opposite direction. But I just twist this yeah. and I glue it. 
And That's this that, is this. <laughs> and this is a Klein bottle, ta-da! Which okay. surprises even mathematicians yeah, yeah, because yeah. we are not used to that image. No. Oh, so they are actually joined together here as well. No, oh, no, they, they, they are like this. See, yeah, there are yeah, two so planes that intersect. Yeah, yeah. This okay, is the intersection. Wow. That's fantastic. This is awesome. So this is a Klein bottle, everyone. <laughs> so why do you think, or, or, I mean, you, you may not have a, an answer to this question, but why, why is this what we visual, why is this how we think of a Klein bottle? Because the, you mentioned this crossing, this is kind of, you know, you said it's the price you pay to visualize in our space. This to me doesn't feel like it has the same level of... It, there's a crossing here too. This is the middle is a crossing. Yes. It, it, but it feels, this to me is looks smoother. It feels nicer. It, it looks well, it has, nicer. Yeah, I think some kind of symmetry is true. I think what happened is Klein. You know, if I even the, the name is uh, is kind of a yeah, so came in the error of translation. Mm. Klein described the bottle and, and make a make a picture a little later. You know, and then everybody grab that. This is in German. Then later. Hilbert wrote this fantastic Hilbert von Kossen, uh, Geometry and the Imagination. And there he wrote about the Klein bottle. And right. I can't say the word in, in, in German, but he, you know, he wrote uh, Klein surface. Okay, I see. The translator saw the image that looks like a bottle and it's flasque and flasque, something like that, and uh -huh. translated as bottle. And now everybody calls it bottle, even in here in Germany. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was just an error of translation, which the okay. image reminds you of bottle. I see. So it was just, that was how Klein himself first visualized it. Yeah. But it was referred to as a surface, a Klein surface. A Klein surface. And he made this picture. Yeah. Translated into a bottle. And then once you call it a bottle, you, you make it very bottle-like. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. So we could call this a, a Klein loop, a Klein, do yeah. we have a name? Have you named this? No, it's a Klein bottle because okay. I call it Klein. I already say what do you mean by a Klein bottle? Is the space yes. that comes from here gluing okay. the edges appropriately? So it's a Klein bottle that yeah. doesn't look like a bottle bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that just leaves the fabric. Is this also a Klein bottle? This looks Klein bottle S. Well, it's Klein bottle S. If you see here, you know, there's a hole. Yeah. And you can. And you, you know. could go through and it yeah. would kind of come. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But it has a zipper. Uh -huh. In fact, I, I, I can't sew, so I, I <laughs> hired somebody to sew it, and she's yes. not an English speaker like me. She said, you make me headache. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let me show you some, some trick of the Klein bottle. So I'm opening okay. the Klein bottle yeah. to the zipper. Mm -hmm. I, even watching you unzip this, I'm imagining trying to actually sew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see why it causes a headache. Oh, wow. oh it comes apart. Wow, okay. Ta-da. So, what do you think is Sorry. this shape? That is, that's a Mobius strip, isn't it? Exactly, that's a Mobius strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here and we have another Mobius strip. That's another Mobius strip, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you glue okay. two Mobius strip across the boundary, you get a Klein bottle. I did know that. So that, okay. That's a really... And now you zip, yeah, you can zip yeah, yeah. that, not That's only really knowing. You can way. zip it to your brain with a zipper. All right, let's see if I can put it back. Can I, so if I just hook it in and zip, it should work or...? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. Now math okay. always works, you know. So yeah. All right, let's try. So we have our two Mobius strips. We line up the edges and we zip them together. And hopefully... Let's... Oh. It's very soothing. Uh, it is. I'm I need it. Over I have to and kind over. of pull through at some point. Is this the sort of? Well, it has to yes. yeah, cross yeah, yeah, itself, yeah. you know. Because of so the... if we had one more dimension, we, yes. we could zip it without crossing itself. We could zip it completely, but unfortunately, we have only three. Yeah. That's it. Okay, and then we get back to it. Okay, and then that's the. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of. That's a climb bottle. Yeah. 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 Okay. I see. Yes. Beautiful. So, hi, Klein bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello, other Klein bottle. <laughs> hi, I'm a different Klein bottle. Also, hello. Oh, hi, hi, everybody. <laughs> right, well, there you go. I think this is, <laughs> this is a great place to end. We have four beautiful 
representations of Klein bottles. So Moira, thank you so much for, for sharing your genuinely beautiful artwork. I think you. you absolutely can call yourself an artist. Okay. I'm sure all of you will agree. This is beautiful stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I, I mean it when I said this is probably my favorite visualization I've seen of a Klein bottle. So, okay. so thank you for sharing it with well, me. Thank, thank you for sharing you. it uh, with the viewers. We'll put some links in the description so they can find out more about Moira's work and what Moira does. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video uh, and that way you'll be notified when I do more maths-based content. Uh, and otherwise, I'll see you all very soon. Take care.